Landspace, one of China's leading private rocket companies, has just made a breakthrough in its mission to revolutionize the commercial space industry with the successful static fire test of its upgraded Juke 2E rocket. This test, which simulated real flight conditions, confirms that the rocket systems can operate harmoniously and withstand the rigors of space missions. But why is this so significant? Not only does this test represent an important step toward launching the Juke 2E, but it also underscores Landspace's dedication to sustainable space technology using liquid methane and oxygen fuel. Today, we'll explore what makes this rocket unique, how it could shape the future of space exploration, and why this success solidifies Landspace's position in China's private space sector. The recent static fire test conducted on Landspace's Juke 2E rocket's second stage is more than a technical achievement, it's a key milestone that verifies the rocket's readiness for real-world flight. This test wasn't just a straightforward check, it was a rigorous trial simulating the intense conditions of space flight. Engineers focused on evaluating the compatibility and functionality of the Juke 2E subsystems, ensuring each part can withstand high pressures and work in sync. The significance here is twofold confirming the rocket's operational integrity and gathering crucial data for upcoming flight tests. By completing this test, Landspace can confidently move forward with its first Juke 2E launch, a major step for China's burgeoning private aerospace sector. Data from the test indicated that the rocket systems met all requirements, from power stability to fuel efficiency. This performance is especially important because the Juke 2E's design relies on the interplay between its advanced systems, which need to perform without fail to support future commercial launches. The importance of this test isn't just in its completion but in what it represents for the commercial space industry. With the global demand for satellite deployment on the rise, Landspace's Juke 2E could provide cost-effective and reliable launch options, marking it as a serious contender in an international market. This success also highlights Landspace's capacity to conduct large-scale, precise simulations, which are crucial in proving the rocket's endurance under simulated stresses equivalent to those encountered in orbital conditions. Through this successful test, Landspace shows that it can develop technology capable of competing with established global players such as SpaceX and Rocket Lab, setting a high bar for future private space endeavors in China and beyond. For Landspace, this test not only advances their technical capability, but also positions them as a trustworthy launch provider, helping secure the company's future in the competitive space launch sector. The Juki 2E rocket stands out for its advanced technology, primarily due to its use of liquid methane and liquid oxygen as propellants. Unlike traditional fuels such as kerosene, methane is more environmentally friendly and cost-efficient. Methane also offers a higher cooling capacity for the engine, which enhances efficiency and extends engine life, critical factors in sustainable rocket development. This propellant choice is part of Landspace's larger vision to create rockets that align with global sustainability goals while maintaining high performance and cost efficiency. Beyond environmental benefits, methane as a propellant opens up opportunities for efficient space operations. For example, methane has a lower molecular complexity, which allows for more stable combustion, a factor that contributes to safer, more controlled rocket flights. This stability not only aids in precise engine management but also boosts thrust performance, making it ideal for complex missions involving multiple payloads. What makes liquid methane particularly groundbreaking is its adaptability for potential reusability. While the Juke 2E isn't designed for multiple uses yet, this choice positions Landspace to develop reusable rockets in the future, reducing the cost of space access and enhancing mission frequency. Methane's lower boiling point compared to other propellants also makes it easier to handle and store, simplifying logistics a valuable trait for commercial launches. This progressive choice aligns Landspace with trends in the global space sector, where companies like SpaceX have proven the value of reusable rockets for long-term commercial success. The Juki 2E is classified as a medium-lift rocket, making it suitable for a wide range of payloads from commercial satellites to research equipment. This versatility is essential in a market where satellite deployment needs are increasing rapidly. 
The Juke 2E's medium lift capacity also broadens its appeal to clients in sectors beyond traditional space applications, such as climate monitoring and advanced Earth observation. By enabling cost-effective access to space, the Juke 2E becomes attractive for clients across industries, from communications to Earth observation. The technology within Juke 2E isn't just innovative, it's also incredibly practical, offering solutions to industry demands that prioritize flexibility and efficiency. Landspace is not just another player in China's space industry, it's a pioneer in private space innovation. Founded in 2015, Landspace broke new ground as one of China's first private companies focused on rocket development. Their first notable project was the Zhuk-1, China's first private attempt at orbital launch, which set the stage for more ambitious endeavors. Though the Zhuk-1 mission was unsuccessful, it provided Landspace with valuable experience and allowed the team to refine their approach for the more advanced Zhuk-2 series. The Zhuk-2, and now its upgrade, the Zhuk-2E, represent a leap forward in private aerospace technology for China. Through innovations like methane oxygen fuel, Landspace is positioned to offer commercial launch services that are both sustainable and competitive in cost. This aligns with China's broader strategy to build a robust commercial space industry, similar to the U.S., with companies like SpaceX and Rocket Lab. By focusing on both technological advancement and market expansion, Landspace demonstrates that it's not only focused on national goals, but is also looking to compete in the global arena. In the future, Landspace aims to build reusable rockets, a feat that could significantly lower costs for commercial space missions. With their sights set on this ambitious goal, Landspace could be the first Chinese company to bring reusability into the commercial market, challenging established players on a global scale. As the demand for satellite deployment surges and industries increasingly rely on satellite-based services, Landspace's commitment to reusability and affordability could secure them a pivotal role in the future of space exploration. Beyond reusability, Landspace is also investing in flexible payload capabilities to serve a wide range of clients, from telecommunications to research organizations. This adaptability not only increases their market reach, but could set them apart as a versatile provider in an industry driven by rapidly evolving needs. With strategic advancements and sustainable technology, Landspace embodies China's ambition to create a competitive, privately funded space sector that leverages innovation to capture international market share. This blend of flexibility and sustainability may well position Landspace as a leader in the new era of global space exploration. In this video, we've explored Landspace's successful static fire test of the Zhuk 2E rocket, highlighting how this achievement marks a milestone for China's private space industry. We looked into what makes the Zhuk QE technologically innovative, from its eco friendly methane oxygen propellant to its versatile payload capacity, and discussed Landspace's growing role in both national and global commercial space markets. We hope you learned something new. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Don't forget to leave a comment below and tell us what you think about this news and what you would like to know more about. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.